is some type of organ, some type of tissue. Perhaps we can't really recognize it right away, but I think what we can recognize is whatever this tissue or organ is, uh, more than 50% of it consists of these little pink nodular areas which are different from the cellular areas. In the cellular areas we can see cells, we can see uh, perhaps vascular channels, perhaps lymphocytes. In the pinkish areas we see mostly a eosinophilic material. Yes, it is mixed in with some cells every now and then, inflammatory cells, maybe fibroblasts, but this is a, once again, a hyaline material. It is glassy, it is pink, uh, it could perhaps be called finely granular, and for lack of a better word, this is hyaline. And I think when you go up to this power, you could see that there are some areas here that appear lymphoid, and some areas in this organ which appear like they are vascular uh, sinusoids. So this is the spleen. But the problem is this spleen is enlarged, and it is chiefly enlarged because most of it consists of these deposits of hyaline material. And if you were to do a stain on this hyaline material, uh, a Congo red stain, and then you polarized it, you would then see that it would be apple green birefringence. This is amyloidosis of the spleen. Some people call this a sago spleen because there is a palm tree uh, which uh, is in the uh, uh, tropical parts of the world uh, with a fruit called the sago palm. They actually eat the roots of the tree. And if you cut the root, it looks a lot like this spleen would look like. In addition, uh, sago is a starchy compound. And the reason why amyloid got its name is because it initially stained with materials like iodine that would stain starch. So originally, uh, amyloid was thought to be a starch material, but now we know better. It is actually aggregates of uh, immunoglobulin material. And uh, this is amyloidosis of the spleen. Thank you very much.